This overly husky man lost 10 pounds in seven days from this peptide. And so is it really just how much weight you lose or does it matter what kind of weight you're losing? As in, was it fat and or muscle? Coach Greg, and in today's video, Ryan Humiston has gone too far. He posts a video and on the thumbnail, a little vile says, lose 10 pounds in seven days. And throughout the video, he talks as if it's the secret that we've all been waiting for, the magic pill in a bottle. It's not clickbait. This overly husky man lost 10 pounds in seven days from this peptide. And so he says it's not clickbait, that he lost 10 pounds and it's actually 11. But is it in fact fat and was it from that peptide? The answer is no, of course it's not. And if all you wanted to do was lose 11 pounds, you could simply be taking a diuretic. Remember Zac Efron? He used a prescription diuretic known as Lasix, lost a ton of weight, mostly water weight, and it ruined his health. Did not feel good from taking it. And so wait till you discover just how bad semi-glutide is. And it's a warning from Coach Greg. Don't take this unless it's in fact prescribed by your doctor, as in you need to take it. It's not something to take lightly. It would be like taking insulin. She just take insulin. Some guy on YouTube says, hey, I took insulin, put on 10 pounds of muscle in a week. Are you then just going to take it? A prescription medication for diabetics? It's called semaglutide. And today we're going over everything you need to know about it and exactly how I take it because it's a little bit different. And so in today's video, we're going over everything you need to know about it. Only, he only gives you the good. Doesn't describe the bad. And so in today's actual video, I'm gonna tell you everything, the good, the bad, and of course the ugly. Or ruin it. I started doing some research, then started taking it myself, and after about a week, I realized this could save Adam's big fat mess of a life. And so essentially he's saying, hey, if you're overweight, it's not in the cards for you, this is the holy grail, the magic secret, the pill in a bottle that you've been waiting for, that it's gonna work, that he's tried himself for a week, a whole week, and it's amazing. Does Ryan Humiston look like he needs a weight loss drug? Does he look like he's overweight? The guy's shredded. He doesn't need to lose weight. And so just because he took it for a week, he can't start saying to other people that you should all go and take it. Here's the problem. This is Adam in high school. And here's Adam today. <laughs> and so just because Adam's gained 50 pounds of fat since high school, doesn't mean he needs to rely or be given some prescription medication for weight loss. Remember how you lose weight? Something about seco, calories in, calories out. If he actually ate in a deficit, did some cardio, he would lose weight. And so after discussing it over with his wife, of which she was adamantly against him taking it, they said, let's do it behind her back and take it anyway. So after agreeing with his girlfriend that he was wrong, that was a dumb idea, he's definitely not gonna take it. We found a clinic right by his house and he took his first shot of semaglutide. And so remember what I said in previous videos that boyfriends, girlfriends, husbands and wives, they're doing things in secret? They're taking PDs and not letting their wives know? Does this not prove that right here? In the semaglutide group, the percentage of people that lost at least 5% of their body mass was 92%. The percentage of people that lost at least 10% of their body mass was 74.8%. And so clearly, case closed, right? Semaglutide, amazing. I mean, who wouldn't want to see that? Clearly, there are a lot more red people losing weight than the greens. And so everyone's weight loss goals clearly defined by how much weight did you actually lose? And so if more people taking semaglutide lost weight than in the placebo group, then it's clearly the winner, right? Wrong. And so let's check out this video. Updates on semi-glutide for weight loss from Endo 2021. They found that there was a 3.5% reduction in total fat mass, but their total lean body mass decreased. And so is it really just how much weight you lose or does it matter what kind of weight you're losing, as in, was it fat and or muscle? And so when you look at weight loss studies, you can't just look at how much weight did they lose, you have to look at all parameters. Was it fat, muscle, how do they feel, and so on. And what about the negative side effects from taking semi-glutide? 4.5% of the participants discontinued due to the GI side effects compared to 0.8% in the placebo group. Is it all hunky-dory, you feel amazing? No. I want to make sure that people are aware that just because they're taking a medication for weight loss 
doesn't mean they don't have to do other things like exercise in order to become healthier. And so she wants to make it clear, just because you're taking semi-glutide and it's helping you to lose weight doesn't mean that that's all you need to do. If all you do is take this drug, you very easily could lose a ton of muscle. And with that muscle loss, guess what happens to your metabolism? goes down, burn fewer calories. And what do you think happens if you stop taking this medication? Well, now you have less muscle tissue and you don't have that drug coursing through your system. You're going to then eat more. You have a slower metabolism. You're going to regain all the weight and even more. As we know, the most common side effects to GLP-1 receptor agonists are gastrointestinal. Gastrointestinal upset as in you feel nauseous and sick all the time. Very difficult to go and train. So is it worth it? You take an injection, makes you feel sick to your stomach, you have nausea, you don't want to eat, and so you therefore eat less. Well, how great is that? Maybe you just want to get sick all the time. If you have an upset stomach, you're always seasick. Hey, great, I lose weight, I'm never hungry. I lost my appetite because I always want to vomit. Do you know what else has been shown to lose weight? In studies long-term, Switching from regular pop to diet, those who do that have been shown to lose a dramatic amount of weight. They also experience more satiety. And so they're happier, less hungry, and they're losing weight from the simple switch from drinking regular pop to diet. But no, but no, I won't do that. I'm scared of artificial sweeteners. Well, perhaps you should be scared of freaking diabetes from taking in so much sugar and being overweight. So I don't expect people halfway through their lives to suddenly learn self-control. Why not? Why can't you educate, teach them what to do? For example, you can watch Coach Greg's channel. You can get my freaking cookbook. Low calorie dense foods, high in protein for the big eaters. Their favorite foods made lower in calories so that you're full. And when you're full, you don't want to eat as much. Or you could spend thousands of dollars on semi-glutide and keep it hush hush and don't tell your wife because why are you taking an experimental drugs? And so do you think semi-glutide was just made for people trying to get single digit body fat? Guys who look like Ryan Humiston? No, it's for people who have diabetes, who are overweight who have problems that they're looking for that quick fix, but we already know it's not the quick fix. You take the drug, what does the research show? You lose mostly muscle. And so is it really worth it to take a drug to help you lose weight when most of that weight is in fact muscle weight? Now I had Adam do a DEXA scan about a week apart and there is bad news. He lost muscle mass. 6.2 pounds, 6.2. Now remember, it is a DEXA scan, and so it's not actually accurate, but it did show a muscle decrease of 6.2 pounds. And so did he really lose 10, 11 pounds in a week? Well, technically yes, but probably mostly muscle and or water weight. And so how much weight did he actually lose? Well, of fat, three pounds. And how would he do that? They have no idea how that could happen. Well, quite literally 3,500 calories in one pound of fat, three pounds in a week, that's a 10,500 calorie deficit. That equates to a 1,500 calorie deficit per day. And so this guy who gained 50 pounds of fat since high school, what did he do? He ate in a calorie deficit. He probably said, well, I want to lose weight. I'm going to take this injection and I'll start eating less. And so an end result, he lost that much weight. Could he have lost the same amount of weight without semi-glutide? Absolutely. It always comes down to calories in, calories out. You can't break the laws of thermodynamics. In this house, we obey the laws of thermodynamics. And so just because you take this injection, it doesn't magically burn up all these calories. What it does is it slows gastric emptying, the amount of time it takes to digest all this food, and it makes you feel nauseous. You have a stomach ache, you don't feel good, and therefore you eat less. Does that make sense? So why am I so excited about this? Why make an entire video? Because this is potentially for Anyone. And so he's saying, this is great. I'm using it. My wife's using it. Bodybuilders can use it. It's so safe. There's no problems. Everyone should use it. To me, this is like saying test and trend D-ball. It's so freaking amazing. I built so much muscle taking it, but not talking about any of the negative side effects. To me, that is going too far. To promote all the good and not talk about the bad, to not warn people that perhaps you're going to lose a lot of muscle, that it's going to cause an upset stomach, make you nauseous, and that's why you're losing the weight. Don't think that's good. What else could you do to lose weight? Well, why not teach people how to eat low calorie dense foods? Encourage them to do 150 minutes of cardio a week, to eat more fruits and vegetables, to get in plenty of fiber, to lift weights, build muscle, increase your metabolic rate. Perhaps instead of eating a high fat, high sugar, low protein chocolate bar, 
You can eat a Seiko bar instead. 20 grams of protein, 15 grams of fiber. Imagine how healthy this is. only got 220 calories. It's 70 grams. It's a huge bar. It's pretty damn easy to get. I recommend everybody just go to a TRT clinic. Most of them will have it nowadays. It's simple, but I'm not ignorant to the fact that you can order this stuff online because it's still kind of the wild, wild west when it comes to peptides. And no, I'm not gonna recommend my favorite website that happens to be in the thumbnail of this video. Also, I'm not gonna say what my favorite peptide company is, but it's in the description below the video. And so there you have it. The actual truth about semaglutide. Did you learn something today? Are you now more cautious about whether or not you should take this medication? Is it not always important to weigh the pros and the cons? I personally feel Ryan Humiston did not outline the positives and the negatives equally. He sided far more greatly with the good, not much on the bad. And so now you have the truth, do what you will with that. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comment section. Also use code GREG 10% off. Link in description, HCLT subs. You want to get the cookbooks, the training books, coaching plans by me and the team, the Seiko bar, all kinds of supplements, too many name here. Watch the bloops, subscribe, click the bell button, comment for the algorithm. And until next time, I'm out.